Guys, I've just got myself a brand new RC helicopter. Now this is a stunt helicopter, which means you can fly it upside down, you can do loops and rolls, you can even cut the grass with it, and you can even fly it upside down and land it on the ceiling, if you've got the skills. All oh, right, let's crack him open. Guys, check it out, this thing looks absolutely epic. So we've got a full metal rotor head, We've got these proper little servos. Look how tiny they are, look. And look at these tiny little connectors. These are like my XT90s, but a lot smaller. What are they? XT30s. Here it is next to a connector, what I use on most of my other RCs. So you've got carbon fiber tail, boom. Motor driven tail. So guys, this thing here, it can actually fly upside down and do all the stunts. So for those of you that don't know anything about model helicopters, it's got collective pitch. What that's, that means is that the pitch of the rotor blades can change. So when you're flying it upright, the blades are like this. And then you flip it upside down, you can turn the blades over the other way. And then that way, it's gonna fly upside down. Let's have a little look what's inside the canopy. So here we've got all the control boards. We've got the LiPo here. And look at that little brushless motor tucked away in there. And there we've got the three servos around the head. So this one here is a 130 size and this one here is a 110. I did a review on this one before and if I remember I'm going to put a link to that up there. And also I'm going to put a link to both of these down below so you can check out the specifications. I'm not going to bore you with these on this video here. So what you get in the box is the instructions. Obviously the helicopter, we get a little parts bag here. So you get a spare main blade, you get a spare tail rotor, you get some spare little links that go around the swash plate here. A spare main gear, little tool kit, and then it comes with four batteries. So one's already installed, uh, and then we've got another three here. Comes with a little charger with a USB end on there, and this here is the radio. Now, if you don't know about RC helicopters, they're not easy to fly. I mean, if you've flown drones and stuff, uh, they are really easy compared to helicopters. So um, don't buy this and expect to be able to fly. You probably want to get yourself a simulator first, practice on there, and only once you can do it on there, maybe give it a go on there. I mean, this here, even though it's gonna be fa fairly durable, I'm expecting this to probably break if you crash it. Uh, this one here, the smaller one's probably gonna be more durable, so if you're a complete beginner. Now, it does come with a 3D and a 6G switch, and apparently, in 3D mode, that is when you can do all the stunts. You can flow it around, you can flip it over, you can land it on the ceiling, you can do all your loops and your rolls and all your other stunts. Uh, and then when you put it into 6G mode, and I'm not sure what switch it is, but it's one of these switch up on here somewhere. Uh, once you put it into that mode there, it should level out and, and fly fairly level. So you're saying you get it into a funny position. Once you let go of the stick, I believe it's gonna level out. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm gonna charge it up, battery it up, and then we're gonna head on out and give it a blast. So we've got Greg in the house again, and we're just powering up the helicopter. I've not flown for a long while, so no, no idea how well it's gonna work. We well, have power. Hopefully we, we get more than 10 seconds out of it. Okay. No cameraman. Am I filming, am I? Oh, hang on, I'm filming myself, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, so we've got Kevin here. It's about a year and a ten, ten months since he's flown, I guess, and this should be interesting. Oh, straight off, look at that. Guy's an expert. Guy's a pro. Oh, hang on. Calm down, boy, calm down. Well, if you expect me to film that, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, son. I'll give up on the filming. <laughs> Here he comes, fast, low pass. Oh, I forgot that zoo nose in. That wasn't actually nose in, that was just a low, low pass, wasn't it? Oh, he's got it, the boy's still got it. Difficult with sun in my eyes. Yeah. Well, don't deck it, Kev. Keep try and keep no, this I one. I deck it. Uh, you say that's the, that's what you always say, my friend. For a little helicopter straight out the box that he's not even trimmed, that is not bad at all. That's locked in. That 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 does appear to fly really no, well. Off. Comparing that hands to off the uh, MC, yeah, it's just a bit disappearing now, Kev. Yeah. Comparing that to the MCPXs of this world, I think that's not a bad little shout, actually. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. I hope this is actually working on the video. I swear the guy's been practicing, but he might not have been. Look at that, straight out the box. Yeah, skills. Try not to dig the blades in. I'm trying to cut the grass. Especially the tail blade, because that will be upsetting. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
skills learnt with the consummation of many, many booms on 450s. If I had a quid for every boom you've already <laughs> bent getting to this stage, I think I could have retired by now. Oh man, I've broken a lot. I wonder if it'll tick tock. It'll probably tick tock. It looks like it's got the capability. <laughs> There's one, that's a tick. There's the tock. Tick, tock, tick. Yeah. That's quite impressive, Kevin. Oh, oh. Oh, that nearly took a tail blade <laughs> out. Yeah. Not bad. I think the man's justifiably pleased with that. That's not Let's bad for one a, bit. Not bad for a first flight. That's, no damage. That's not bad at all. Shows the quality of it, Kev, whilst you're there, because this is worthy of a, a bit of a close up on that. The head, metal head. They've already had all the close ups of it. Yeah. Good solid boom on it, nice carbon boom on it. Dirt cheap, link down below. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think that's not a bad helicopter for a chuck about on a nice calm evening. So guys, this helicopter flew absolutely lovely. The last time I flew a helicopter was this one here, and that one flew really well as well. This one's a smaller one. This one here's a little bit better, bigger, better, whatever. Uh, probably is a bit better. But anyway, guys, I'm planning on getting a bigger helicopter and a Lion T-Rex 600. It's a nitro helicopter, it's quite big, and I want to start flying again. And um, if you guys like it, I might do more videos, but it's going to be carnage. I'd like doing all the stunts and all the tricks really close to the floor. So there's going to be loads of carnage so i'm going to do a few videos see how it goes if you guys want to watch i might make more if you don't then i'll just carry on with the hobby and just have fun on my own but anyway if you want to know where you can get this kit from i'm going to put a link down below you get all the techno babble there and all the all the specifications and the price and all that stuff there so let me know if you want to see more helicopters and for now just check out one of these videos here so give us a thumbs up subscribe bell button thumbs down if you suck you know the drill you know what you gotta do bye <laughs>